Hey guys, what's up? It's the King of Games 98. How's everyone doing? Hope you're having a good day. And, um, I'm back. <laughs> and, uh, this is going to be a five minute review of the first volume manga of Cowboy Bebop Shooting Star. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, ever since I watched the Cowboy Bebop anime series, I immediately fell in love with it, and I freaking love Bebop. It is so good. Literally in my top five favorite animes of all time. Um, and so, I love Cowboy Bebop. I have the whole series on DVD. I have Cowboy Bebop the movie on DVD. And... Not too long, you know, after looking online, I found out there are two Cowboy Bebop manga series that exist. And I talked to a friend of mine who's really in the anime too and loves Bebop. And he said he really wouldn't recommend buying them or reading them. Well, I want to say two or three weeks ago, I was in a local toy toy slash video game store that's not too far from my house. It's called House of Fun. It was actually it was actually the first time I was ever in that store. Freaking loved it. Can't wait to go back. Well anyway, they sold freaking anime. And then in some books and comic books, I found mangas. And wouldn't you believe I found Cowboy Bebop Shooting Star Volume 1 the manga in pristine condition. Mind you, this is out of print and is from 2003. So I was blown away when I found this and there was no price on it. So I went, I took it to the counter, asked the dude uh, behind the counter who was the owner, how much is this? And he goes, $5. I was like, dude, say no more. <laughs> so really, I wasn't planning on buying any of the volumes of the Cowboy Bebop manga series because I just heard too many mixed and not good things about them. So I kind of stayed away from them. I'm not going to lie. But since I found the first volume for the second series, Cowboy Bebop Shooting Star, and it was dirt cheap, it was five bucks, it's in pristine shape, I grabbed it. So a few minutes ago, I just finished reading it, and well... I liked it. <sighs> okay. I liked what I read. The, f uh, the, the five stories I read, I enjoyed them. Um, oh, okay. So, first off, I guess I should, I should have started by saying this. The two Cowboy Bebop manga series are basically, I'm pretty sure they're both retellings of the Cowboy Bebop anime series, but, you know in a manga, and they're different retellings. Well, Shooting Star, I definitely know, is a, re is a different retelling of the Cowboy Bebop series, which is fine. I have nothing wrong with that. So, knowing what happens in the Cowboy Bebop anime, because I love it so much and have watched it a good number of times, you know, reading this and knowing what happens, it was different. Um, I liked the five stories I read, but I gotta be honest, I liked the original anime version of Cowboy Bebop, the story of that better. Um, okay, so I'm not going to really go in the load of spoilers, but I'm just going to show you from the table of contents. So I thought it was pretty unique. They, call, they, they called each story a shoot. Um, kind of like, I guess, referencing movies, you know, uh, different shoots or scenes for action, for action scenes, well, they called these shoots, and I thought that was interesting, because in the anime series for Cowboy Bebop, they called each episode a session, as in, like, a, um, as in, like, a music session, I'm pretty sure that is how that is anyway, um, so, in the first, um, in the first story, You Only Live Twice, it basically tells, a story of of Spike and Jet when they're first starting out, uh, capturing this uh, this dude and his um, supposed doppelganger of himself that looks identical to himself. Really weird. And yeah, um, 
in the second story, uh, shoot to the kid stays in the picture. That's obviously referencing to Ed or Edward the Fourth. Um, so in the second uh, story, shoot two, the kid stays in the picture and introduces Ed. Uh, as you can tell by shoot three, dog day afternoon, that introduces Ein, the data dog, to the story. And then there's shoot four, the sting, that introduces an, uh, another villain who seemed pretty cool by the name of Scorpion. And shoot five, as, it, as you can tell by the name again, funny girl, that story introduces the beautiful Miss Faye Valentine. Um, okay. So, I'm not really going to go into each of the five different stories because I feel like I would be ruining the stories for you viewers and or for people who have never read either of the two Cowboy Bebop manga series and if they're curious about them, would want to read them. So, I'm not going, I'm not going to go into huge detail and spoil any bits and pieces from any of the five different stories. I just thought it would be good to show you the table of contents and and roughly, you know, um, tell you guys a little bit about each story uh, without ruining any of it, which is, that was all I was doing just now. Um, okay, so... I guess now I'm going to talk about my thoughts, feelings, opinions and what I liked and or didn't like with Cowboy Bebop Shooting Star Volume 1, the manga. Okay. Um, so, the Cowboy Bebop Shooting Star second manga series is a re I know for a fact that is a retelling of the Cowboy Bebop anime series. And, and again... I got nothing wrong with that. Um, I thought I thought it was different how they started the um, manga off. Um, I thought it was different. Um, I kind of liked it, but again, I think I like you know the story of the anime version better than the manga version. But you know, it doesn't matter. Um, I liked how they started it out. Um, I thought that was cool. I thought it was really cool in the very beginning, before you even start reading the book. It actually, you know what, here, instead of talking about it, I'll just show it to you guys. Because I thought it was really cool. And no, this isn't going to spoil anything. Okay, so look at this introduction. It actually talks about how, before Cowboy Bebop was basically a, a hit, you know, in Japan and in the U.S. as an anime series, uh, Japan's renowned book publisher, Kadokawa, which I know pretty well, uh, was working rigorously to make a really good Cowboy Bebop manga series. And, you know, it goes in a little more depth here, and it says it's basically, actually, boom, right there. Uh, contained within the pages, the book you now hold in your hands offers an alternative version of the origin of the famous ship and the bounty hunting crew, and its bounty hunting crew. So, I thought that was really cool of an introduction that they put in this manga before you even start reading it, so I thought that was really cool. Um, okay, so like I previously just said, I liked how, uh, they started it out, um... The the artist they got for this, Kane Kuga, he put his own unique spin on the look and designs of the characters. Now, I have nothing wrong with that, but me personally, I did not like how Spike Spiegel looked in this manga. I didn't like how Ed looked in the manga. Um... Jet Black, I I thought he looked the same. They didn't really change much with Jet. I thought he looked the same. I had nothing wrong with how Jet looked in the manga. Uh, Faye Valentine, they changed her appearance and look slightly. Um, but that didn't really bother me. Um, so really, 
I don't have a major problem with Kane Kuga's um, art style, but I don't like how he drew the characters of Spike Spiegel and Ed. I just don't like how they look, because they don't look like they're from the anime series at all. Uh, so that's one complaint I have. Um, for a manga, I thought it was kind of odd, different, that each different chapter didn't follow one another. But then again, I guess you could say in the, in the, in the Bebop anime series, each episode didn't really follow one another either. So I guess they were kind of basing that the manga off the anime series with that. I don't know. Um, I liked the, I liked all five of the stories. I thought they were good. Um, I thought it was kind of weird though. The first character Spike and Jet meet and pick up and add to the Bebop crew is Ed. And... I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly in the Bebop anime, uh, the first uh, new character Spike and Jet meet and pick up and add to the Bebop crew is I'm the Data Dog. Then they meet Ed, and then they meet Faye. Well, in the manga version of Bebop, they first met Ed, then he came aboard. Then they met Ayn, he came aboard. Then they met Faye, and then she came aboard. So, notice that right off the bat. Uh, not that I have a problem with that or anything. Um, but, you know, I just noticed that. Compare and contrast. Uh, yeah. So, um, I'm going to start to wrap this up. So, really, I don't really have a whole lot of complaints about Cowboy Bebop Shooting Star, the manga series. Other than I didn't like how some of the characters looked in the manga, like il like illustration-wise and drawing-wise, I didn't like how a few of the characters looked. Um, I thought the stories were good. Some of them I couldn't. I some of them I couldn't really see in the Bebop universe. Some I could kind of see. Um, the new villain that they introduced, Scorpion, I thought he seemed really cool. And um, yeah, yeah. Um, alright guys, so, wow, this is a really long review, but it's okay, because it's freaking Cowboy Bebop. Okay guys, so I'm going to wrap up this video now, and my final rate for Cowboy Bebop Shooting Star Volume 1 of the manga, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, because I enjoyed it, even though I had a few minor gripes, gripes with it, but it's not a whole big to do. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and... Just so you know, the King of Games 98 is back, baby. And see you in the next video. Till then, guys. Have a good day.